If I was to suggest to another teacher why they should use this, I would say that it's going to save them hours of time and it's going to inspire their students in a way that is very difficult to find in any other way. Marlene, Year 10. So today, in today's lesson we're going to recap a little bit because it's about a week since we watched the last section. We integrated the National Theatre Collection into our curriculum because we found that the students in this area usually didn't go to the theatre. Then we're going to watch the next little clip. The collection was a way of us bringing high quality productions to all students. Can't you see it? It's there! I like how it glistens. We use the collection for all year groups. At Key Stage 3, it's about introducing them to, to theatre, generating a love and appreciation of the art form. At Key Stage 4, it's more about meeting the requirements of a, of a specification, whether it be GCSE or, or BTEC. Currently, I'm using the production of Frankenstein and the resources that are available for Frankenstein with a group of Year 10 students. We've been examining how the actor Benedict Cumberbatch has um, interpreted the character and the ideas behind the direction of that character. If he's, for example, if you're feeling angered and the lights might turn like a darker reddish colour or if he's like... We talked about the lighting and the sound and the acting and the set design and the costume and the makeup and we just put the whole thing together. So they had like the bright flash of light, didn't they, to represent that, that emotion that he was going through? It could be that we are studying the entire production. It might be that we are looking at an aspect such as design or performance or a theme, and those might go on to um, be stimuluses for devised work or script work. There are the odd few students, and usually the students who we want it to impact the most, who it's something new to them, they've not, they don't understand it, they don't get it, but very quickly you see development of themselves as a learner. For example, at the beginning of Frankenstein, we often find Year 10 students going, oh God, it's 10 minutes, like all he's done is crawl around on the floor. But then actually the more of the production that you watch, they understand that that 10 minutes really helped them to develop an empathy for the character and how that impacts the rest of the production. You are a king, the king of science. Build me a woman, please. I beg you, a bride. A bride should be beautiful. So much media these days is short form and requires shorter attention spans. But to give your attention to a complete production requires a different kind of thinking. And that complete experience can be transformational. It's a real opportunity to teach students how to do a live review so that when they come to do a live production, which is something that they will only get to see once, they're in a better mindset of how to actually respond to that production. It's hard to find productions of this quality anywhere else. It really helps to raise the attainment of um, every student in the lesson. It gives them an aspirational goal to work towards something that they can produce themselves, being given all the skills so they can see how a production is put together. The monster is desperate to have that human connection in a positive way. For many of our students, the National Theatre itself can feel a long way away. But by being able to watch the productions now, here, they feel it is their National Theatre.